Who goes there? Hey, Perkwed. Thanks for visiting. As always, how are you today? Had to do some stuff for my parents really quick. That's why I'm a little bit behind right now. But we'll get started in like, give me two minutes. We even left fewer than two minutes, really. Nux Taco? Why does that name sound so familiar? Okay, I was gonna say. I thought that was the Nux, and I was like, what? I'm good. It's Monday. I'm here. But it was a wild weekend, let me tell you. I even got my first stream schedule ever. Which I used immediately on twi on Twitter, so that's pretty pog. What about you? Hmm. <laughs> Lulz Maker. I like that. I like that nickname. Thank you. Measuring system performance. Camera frame rate twenty. Why so low? I guess it could be worse, really. All right. Log in here. Hands are functioning. Need to draw off my ears so I can <sighs> Last but not least, Time to post my stream everywhere, or in at least a few places. Copy a link. And start just going down the line. Posting streamer promos. To do Oh, fuck me. There we go. I need to turn off the UI as well. There we go. And I got to set game capture to Anno. Then after that, I need to, need to, need to, need to, need to drop my docs in a few places here. Where is stream streaming promo? Let's get to it, Mizumi. Be continuing more Anna Mutation. Honestly, I'm kind of curious how long it's going to take to even finish this game. It's not a particularly long game, is my understanding. 
but we'll attempt to enjoy it for what it is and hope it gets better as we progress. It is certainly a very pretty game to look at. So, you know, it's got that going for it. There we go. All right, chat. Let's get to playing. Continue. Breaking news. It is hot as balls. Or will soon be. It is summer. <laughs> Maybe we could spend some grumbits to upgrade our suit. I'm more interested in learning how to change my clothes from the comfort of my own home. Without having to travel all the way back to my old house. So you know, that would make sense, right? How do I into game again? G? Weapons, a battle suit, this gun here. I got a nice, I got a literal uh, power sword here now, which is fucking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Going to add a buster sword thing, my jigger to it. I'm not as impressed by this uh, purple lightsaber, to be honest. There's a lot of things in this game that I'm not impressed by. I wonder if you're supposed to like break in here or something. This looks like a side quest, maybe? Oh, that kind of spooks me. <laughs> it's Ingrid, whoever this is. Oh. I guess someone died in there this time. That's actually really spooky. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a jump scare just now. Bonnie Park. The victim was called Bonnie Parker. Can't find any information about her in this city. Typical stowaway. The cause of death was mechanical asphyxiation. She was strangled to death from behind and then hung in the room. At least that's what the autopsy report says. Based on that, the crime scene and the victim's body, we suspect the murderer to be a tall, stout man. One of the suspects is Jonathan Bautista Armstrong. He went to the victim's room yesterday afternoon. Gosh, that's a hard thing to remember. He's the victim's landlord and seems to have had a money issue with her. We thought he was our prime suspect, but his body shape's very different from our presumed killers. But he's our only lead. Guess we still need to question Jonathan. Can you find and question him for more details? Did our security camera catch her where he was headed? Sigh. Ah! Who is following me? Arisu VT, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to Lull's time. I am Luller Hicks, your resident escapee shitposting AI from a certain bbs oh followed by jakey 10701 thank you so much for the follow um once again i'm luller hicks i'm a escaped ai from a bbs what brings you to today's stream uh, we're playing anno mutationum did y'all find me from twitter twitch uh, discord i'm always curious to see where, or where people are where i'm getting the most followers from so it's always a prize for example to find people from uh Find people just from Twitch itself. But, uh, Discord, you're in the. Oh, of course. I started posting, uh, promotion, or posting my links there recently because I didn't before, and thank you for following me over from there. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the support. I thought I recognized your handle in particular. <laughs> 
So yeah, we're going to be playing this for a few hours today. I typically stream, a I've literally just started streaming today. Um, I usually stream for about three hours or so on the weekdays and maybe a little bit longer on Fridays and Saturdays if time just goes by. So we're about to start and you guys just missed a jump scare out of nowhere. We're doing a uh, crime scene investigation. We got a sto we got a refugee here who has been hanged apparently by her landlord in a very creepy uh, cultish looking room. So we're going to go and uh, interrogate him apparently. <laughs> yeah, crime, right? Oh, apparently the landlord's Spanish too. Magic and miracles, my dear friend. Wait, you still haven't found him? The also the dialogue in this game is trash. So I'm gonna I'm going to read some of it, but some of it I'm just going to like glaze over. <laughs> if you can help me this time, I promise your pain will be huge. <laughs> I really like her outfit. You know, especially <clears throat> the thighs. <clears throat> okay, I'll get on it. Alright, so... Evidently, I need to go figure out what the hell is going on here. Oh. This is different. Someone smashed the, uh... The uh, holy symbol over there. I used to uh, holy symbol used to be there. Isn't this the victim's room? Yet it seems different. Gee, I wonder what's different. Totally not that broken neon sign in the back. Uh, horny? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm totally not horny. In fact, can the AI even become horny? That's a question for another time. Right now, we need to figure out just where the hell this guy went to. It appears that the camera was edited. At least that's my guess, right? too big for your brain suspect vanish after entering floor six hmm matryoshka doll all right then well, it looks like we're going to floor six unless this elevator is fucked wait there we go all right so we're going to floor six chat this is the first time the game has even allowed me to change the floors Oh, that's not spooky at all. Hey, look! A, tr a chest of stuff to loot. Standard pistol rounds. Totally not the game implying that we're going to be having a combat or combat round fairly soon. I totally forgot how to play this game already. Some garbage to collect and sell later. Or chump change. Let's go uh, explore around the this floor first before we enter the obvious direction. Wait, this is another room, just like the one upstairs. But <laughs> excuse me, it appears to be missing some of the um, pictures over there. Uh, but it looks like someone's also been to this room and has also smashed that um, holy symbol over there. Something's changed. <laughs> of course there's combat. This is a... Um, I guess it's not really a Metrovania. It's more like um, a side-scrolling Deus Ex with a worse story. Something like that. Alright, so something has changed. Um, on the sixth floor. Another cultist room has been has been ransacked, evidently. Something's changed. But what? Gee, I wonder what. So am I supposed to go? Why is the floor so why is floor seven also? have policemen on it. Which, let's go down there next, see if we could figure out why. Something's changed. Let's go down to the seventh floor. Why only police by you on that point? 
Do y'all want me to help with this investigation or not? Jeez. What a lazy way for the game to be like, no, you cannot go there. Alright, since I'm stubborn, let's just check out every floor then. Oh, shit! Hey, Starbridge! Welcome to the stream, I'm Luller Hicks. I'm Escaped AI. Welcome to LOL's time! We're playing... We are playing a cyberpunk game today, which is oddly fitting since I'm supposed to... Since I am a cyberpunk-based VTuber. We are playing Anna Mutation. I'm doing great today. It's kind of hot in my room. Uh, things are kind of overheating at the moment. What about you? How are you today? Alright, so why is this NPC here? Why is he looking at his phone? What's he carrying in his hand? Why can't I progress further than this location? Oh, I see. It is summer. Uh, it was actually fairly cold for the past couple of weeks, and it's been on and off, on and off. Yesterday it was perfect. This past weekend it was perfect, honestly. Perfect, uh, 70, 70 degrees Fahrenheit or so. With nice and sunny. Food. Junk food. Hold up. Eating biscuits gives you armor piercing? What about this hamburger? Uh, eating Berg makes you do additional pistol damage. Eating uh, off-brand Starburst. Wait. No way, this is a Starburst jelly? I was going to make a joke off of Starburst candy, but Starburst candy is in fact the name of... <laughs> and Pringles. Lightning gum. Look, lightning gum at least makes sense. One second, chat. I need to do something really quick. And I am back. Where was I? Oh, yeah. We were trying to figure out... As long as the game doesn't crash on me. Let me put my... Get my arms back on here real quick. There we go. We need to figure out... Where the game wants us to go. Because another criticism I have with this game, unfortunately, is that... The um, narrative design with regard to organically showing you where to go next so that you don't run around aimlessly without being lost confused is kind of amateurish um but hey free stuff all right i got a standard grenade i almost never use the grenades because they tend to move a little slow stop throwing litter okay nothing on this floor either Except for a grenade. Alright. What about this floor? What about this floor? This floor? Tropicana Tours. A ticket to the tropics. Smile potato with good taste. And orange juice made out of real orange shaped glasses. Nothing on this floor either. Who's this guy? Oh, he sound looks angry. Interesting. Pardon Tantalum on floor two when you smash several of them. How do you hit the floor? How do you hit 
the doors on floor 2 at an angle from floor 8. So, the game doesn't really explain this to you either, but I assume that you work for a private investigation company of some kind? From the agency. Okay. So I guess we're going to find junk, and you know, I actually know where the junk's coming from, because I remember at the very start of the game, as soon as you leave your room the first time, you see shit literally being thrown out of one of the doors right next to you. So I guess we're going to go to the antique shop in Siberius. This is actually the computer that was thrown out, and it's a very old looking computer non nonetheless. I know who threw it. I wonder if the game's gonna let me go up there and investigate that specific place. Because it's quite literally the room next to ours in game. It was this one, in fact. However, whoever's over there is not going to let us inside right now. So I guess the game is intending for me to go straight to the antique shop again. Because where else am I supposed to go, am I right? To the game's credit, if I had not checked these floors one by one, I would have never run into that guy. So, it's not all for naught, I guess. Cat mobile. Didn't I just open this place earlier? Hmm. I guess not. Oh, that's cute. It just assumes that you say something. Ayane? What's wrong, darling? Can you stop calling me that? Then what should I call you? Mm. Baby? Honey? Love you? <sighs> Never mind. Your purple headed friend's starting to get really annoying, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the game has so many instances where you can eavesdrop on people or talk to people in the streets, but they don't really have much to say. You could kind of tell where I was going here with the, oh, it's Cyberpunk vibe, right? Cyberpunk 2077. I mean, look at this. Also, this is new. This did not happen earlier. Why does random businessman know who I am, and why did he suggest I purchase firearms? I actually remember reading this exact dialogue earlier. <laughs> yeah. Sarah's aesthetic is cool. Welcome back. Delicious cakes. Policeman. Alright, so I have to report on Eric. Where did your mom go? Your mom went to go get ice creams? Is what they're is that what they're telling kids these days? We must continue to use cup noodles. I guess they must have also sponsored this game. Hmm, we 
already read this news article. Dad gets the milk, mom gets the ice cream. Hmm, what could they be discussing? Hologram bounds I forest. I wonder if that's a reference to Valhalla, because there's also a bar mini game in this game, which is basically Valhalla, except faster, where you do the same thing. He just bought a new car. Hi, Alpha. How are you today? Welcome to the stream. We are streaming. We are playing Anno Mutationum today. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing again? Let's check our uh, quests. So we need to go to the antique shop owner. And... I think it's back over here somewhere. Who is she talking to? Me? Couldn't be me, right? This guy is also really obnoxious, but he's funny enough, I guess. I have very little money in this game. Do I dare use it to purchase some additional firepower? Probably not. I don't have enough chip modules. I don't have any chip modules anyway, so there's no point using it at this or buying it at this point at this moment. Why at this moment? Haha. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm kind of surprised. Doesn't Twitch usually say that by default when someone's new stops in the chat? It's like, oh, this person's new? It's not doing that for me anymore. So now it says, unless, until you just click that option, which introduces yourself. How's your day been, Alpha? Happy Monday. Punk's not dead? Who said it was? These people are still rocking out over here. Oh, that's always a mood. Work was pretty mundane for me today, so I can't Hi. complain. Sell used wares. Wait. Hi. Let's ask about his old computer. Hottest and latest retro computer? Your manager hates you? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I stalked a great many just behind you. Your neighbor in room 710 ordered one for home delivery just the other day. Poppin' corn? Alright, so it has a game called Poppin' Corn in it, and some guy in room 710 had thrown it out of his. out. Hmm. Huh. Leave for the special lab to be under constant surveillance. That totally does not backfire at all. I would know. You could trust me. I was totally not born in a secret lab, was I? After some time, they contacted me and he and said he just left. Mm, Alright. I see. Sorry, I haven't seen him. <laughs> but... Why would you think that me, a complete stranger, would just happen to know where your brother is, who I've never met before? Imagine, like, lip breathing, requiring oxygen, having... Ah, thank you for the... I thank you for throwing the uh, rubber ducky at my face. At least it wasn't something heavier. Some people have taken to throwing everything from anvils to slippers at my face recently. 
If I must be abused for your enjoyment, at least make it be abused I can take, am I right? I don't know how many brain cells I have left in this digital form. Okay, so we're not going to tell him immediately. We're going to go up to floor 7. You forgot about the name for channel points, lol? <laughs> Ow! 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 Shit! That's smart! I mean, uh, thank you for the redeems, everyone. Yes, by all means. Ah, uh, throw shit at my face for your amusement. Also, we're running a little thing, Majigger. If y'all contribute enough channel points to my channel, around 69, 69 or 69 or so, you get to choose a horror game of your choice for me to play. I usually like horror games, but there's quite a few that I typically do not enjoy playing, but for the special price of the sexy number times four, you get to change all that. Why is there a fat robot here? This is an example of the bad, bad dialogue. Just, it's, it's really bad. I do not like Outlast, but I'd be more than willing to play it for everyone's amusement. Heart palpitations be damned. What's Visage? Ooh, I love psychological horror. For reference, the kind of horror games I enjoy playing are Resident Evil, like games like Resident Evil, Silent Hill, and also um, atmospheric and large psychological horror games, fridge horror games, that sort of thing. I fucking hate jump scares, which is why I've not played Five Nights at Freddy's up to this point. Um, let's go talk to Room Seven Ten. Is this game implying that I'm supposed to talk to this fat dude? Yes. Corpulent... His name is Corpulent Fellow. Um, I have not tried World of Horror. It sounds familiar, though. Uh... FNAF kind of mid, not gonna lie. Ah, fair enough. I suppose the uh, jump scares do get boring after the third or fourth time. I and mean, just get more annoying than anything. Um, as far as getting scared is concerned, I'm actually more affected by easily affected by sound than I am about by visuals. Especially if I see something coming already, or I know something's going to happen. It's not as freaky as if the sound just pops out of nowhere. Even as even growing up, I really hated the sound of balloons popping, for example. Um, surprisingly enough, I actually like fireworks, so who knows what's up with that. So, he threw away his retro computer, and he calls it his precious. Is this whole stupid thing over a baby raging over a stupid fucking video game? <laughs> hey, don't listen to a word from him. My fat roommate has a bad temper. Someone's been knocking on our door, but when we go to open it, there's no one outside. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know what? That, that, was, that was actually really clever. <laughs> So, in the game, the late game lets you knock on doors all the time, right? This uh, roommate guy says that the reason why a retro computer is thrown out the door out of rage was because of them 
because of the fat guy retaliating from being angry at someone knocking on the door, but no one being there. So I kind of inadvertently caused this whole mess myself. Gee, who is our culprit? I don't think it takes a rocket scientist to realize that the guy who threw it was quite obviously the fat man. Unless... Wait, so it's not them? Is the game implying that it's actually the guy that gave sent us on a stupid quest to begin with that was the one that threw this computer? This is a very riveting stuff, isn't it, chap? To be fair, we're not even like what a uh, few hours into the game so far. One second. Sorry, I had a phone call there. I don't know why I'm trying so hard, but I figure we might as well at least try and get the answer correct in this one, right? Of course I know him. He's standing right in front of you, so what's up? Okay. Have you ever thrown a retro computer downstairs? Who threw away my precious computer? I was trying to catch the culprit before you intervened. It must be at Skinny Phil. He's jealous that I won the popping corn contest. Hey, don't listen to a word from him. My fat roommate has a bad temper. Someone's been knocking on our door, but when we go to open it, there's no one outside. It's made my roommate so angry that he's broken many vases at home. I guess he threw out the computer because he lost some popping corn matches, and he's too embarrassed to admit it. That computer stores contacts from many important customers of mine. I haven't asked him to him to recoup my financial losses and now he's accusing me. So, the way this stuff reads kind of implies that it's the fat guy that did it, right? But the game is set up in such a way as to make one double think like, is it really the fat man? But I have no reason to believe it's the skinny man.
Because... If the skinny man's telling the truth, why would he throw out his own computer, which is giving out records or whatever? I don't know why I'm trying so hard in this. I was gonna say it's the fat man. That's the most likely. Sometimes you just have to do Occam's razor. Fuck it. Wow, that's a dick move. I wonder if anything changes when you go back upstairs, actually. He really does, doesn't he? Like, does it change anything in the game if, uh, regardless of who I choose as the culprit? Whether it's the skinny guy or the fat guy? Did we actually get paid? It still shows 12, 1,268 credits. So... Piled up documents about the case on the 8th floor. What documents? All I see here is this man disappeared. Well, look, if he's never seen entering floor 6, he must be in floor 7. That's what would make sense, right? One second, please. Ay, ay, ay. So... Ah. Thank you for the sub, Pacer Robot. How have you been? It's been a while since I've seen you in this chat. This is gonna take last a while. Crap. 
I wish I could grab one of these things and just use it and like hold it and like use it to protect my head or something. Stop! Oh, shit. God. Ow. It's definitely more beach balls than slippers this time. Oh my god. Ow. Oh. Thank you for the four month sub, by the way. Always appreciate it. Ah! Who did that? It's been knocked off of my head thanks to the time lap. There's. Ah! Too much junk covering my. Ah! It could be worse. It could have been an anchor. It could have been an anvil. It's over. The ram terror is over. Now I could continue figuring out what the hell I'm supposed to do in this game next. I guess like. I mean, is there anything, uh, any other in? It just kind of does fall into the void. I mean, where else would it go? It falls into the void, falls into a sort of hammer space area where it's recollected, and the next time someone subs, it gets dumped on my head again. Recycling, you know? Reduce, reuse, recycle, re something. Revengeance. Bazinga! I smell some kind of secret on floor six. Let's find our suspect there. I like that the game actually is like, yo, you've been reviewing the same video over and over again. Let me just tell you the solution. Which is to go to floor six. I mean, I was already... I already went to this thing once. I don't see what going here again would do for me. Something's changed. Honey, that something is quite obvious. The problem is, that doesn't really tell me anything. Like, this light's flashing? Cool. Gee, there's an ominous bunch of candles in front of this door. What's next? How do I open? The ambient is very atmospheric, that's true. Worshipping, worshipping some. Something's changed. Worshipping some kind of machine god, or something or other. Whoa. I just now noticed the um, area that usually says numbers now says yes on it. Can I spell the word yes? With no? Pretty sure the game wants me to do something with this room. But there's not so much you can do, you know? You can just look around this tiny people somehow, even though that's not how people's work. It's supposed to work in the opposite direction.
I got a key, but it's not gonna let me use the key. Also, they really should have not phoned in those voiceovers. You can hear the sort of the uh, distortion in the background. G and advanced crypto key. There's only three pictures there now. Something's changed. Compared to the several pictures upstairs. This has no in it. There's three. And there's a... Uh... Two more images uh, around four more or three more images over here. So this is quite obviously a puzzle. I just don't know in what form I'm supposed to or how I'm supposed to solve this puzzle. Things changed. Can I do anything on the floors above or below that? Why does this say no now? What is it trying to imply? It's a cyberpunk populace. Everyone's spying on everyone. And gee, it says yes, save boyer. What do I do with this information? I'm just about to give up on this stupid quest and just continue the main storyline, honestly. What is 20 credits anyway, right? Unless there's someone I'm supposed to talk to and I'm just being an idiot right now. There's also a piece of there's also a piece of paper there, but it's not letting me read the paper. It just has me keep looking inside the same room. And I know there's a bun here. I'm supposed to. How'd I do that? Uh, 
Okay. You know, it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's bugged because this game was pretty jank to begin with. If that's the case, let's try saving the game and uh, reloading the file and see if that makes any difference. Here's Dad, who is a robot. Put in a second save slot just in case I need to reload the entire game because of reasons. The reason why I'm kind of skeptical of that solution, though, is because there are games where the file might be bugged, and if you save, it will save the bug with it, so you would have to restart from a previous save file, or worst case scenario, the whole game, just to unfuck it, and I really don't feel like replaying the first few hours of this game. Probably easier if I just, like, sped through all the, uh, terrible dialogue, I guess. Am I going to get jump scared again when I look through this pinhole? Isn't this the victim's room? Yet it seems different. There we go. Yeah, this is the victim's room. Yeah, it seems different. What do I do with this information, Anne? I know what's different about the room. But... I don't know how it's supposed to help me. Something's changed. I don't know who I'm supposed to tell about that either. The way the uh, holy symbol on top has been destroyed and the way the uh, number of pictures and whatnot on the uh, altar are different some of them have been taken from the previous one from the uh, one downstairs something's changed i don't am i supposed to go to the police can i go to the police precinct and like report my findings or something give me my 20 credits Uh, the game is telling me that no, I'm supposed to go find the next part of this game, or next part of the... I need to talk to you. Jack's Office of Vigilance. There are three photos here, and the symbol has been broken into three pieces. On the other one, there are six of them. Also, those things are there on the computer at the far right look a little bit different. 
I wonder if that's code. Or if that's like... I wonder if... You're supposed to visit the floors in a certain order. And if that's supposed to take you to a secret location in this apartment building. Something's changed. That's actually really clever. I probably would have found that if I had just visited each floor individually. Just out of just just to make sure, but I see what you did there, game. Is there gonna be a jump scare behind this one too? No corpses hanging anywhere? Okay. It's it's the order in which you're supposed to visit the Something's changed. It's the order in which you're supposed to visit the floors. Okay. You have to visit the floors in a certain order. Wait, this is some magical bullshit going on here. Alright, so I need to visit the four. Is that Shovel Knight? Now I need to visit the fourth floor. Something's changed. This is a very bizarre puzzle. Yeah, I thought so. Here we go, chat. to remember how to actually play this game and we can't see anything so it's a good thing we use this to realize that there is actually a sheer ledge right here I can let's see now oh oh shit that was close This is kind of spooky, not gonna lie. Very, you weren't kidding, it's very atmospheric, if little else. This platforming is starting to make me a little bit... Uh, a little bit... Paranoid. Okay. What's going to happen? At this point, Chad, I have no idea what's going to happen. We've sure been running for a while, though, haven't we? What the shit? It would appear... That we have entered the bat, we have entered the uh, between space, the bind, 
the binding in between space. You find a man shivering in the corner. After taking a closer look, you realize he looks like the suspect seen in the cameras. Hello? Are you Jonathan Bautista Armstrong, Bonnie Parker's landlord? Are you here to save me or capture me? Why capture me? Yes, yes, I totally deserve it. Deserve it? Did you really kill Bonnie Parker? No, don't mention her name. Damn that voice. And that damn woman, the great daughter. Great daughter? Wait, what did I just say? I think he's out of his mind. What do you mean by that voice? No, no, say no more! Can you tell me what you know about Bonnie Parker's death now? I didn't do it. I saw a pair of hands strangle her to death. Seems kind of sus, but alright. Whose hands, and why were you at the scene? Is this floor 6? I was on my way down to floor 6, then, but then everything was started shaking. When the doors opened, I was here. That's so strange. I went to floor 6. It was very eerie. Then I went to floor 3 and 2. I ended up here on my way to floor 4. Floor 6, floor 3, floor 2. Meters panda will help us get out. Why do you want to leave? Stay here forever, would you? No thanks. You'll die too if you leave. The hands that strangled Bonnie Parker to death will kill us too. I'd rather starve to death. If you are the culprit, you won't strangle yourself to death. And if you aren't... The police will, will protect you as a key witness to the crime. Before we hand you over to the police, it's my responsibility to protect you. You're safe with us, just tell me everything you know. I thought he just said that... He didn't kill anyone. Fine, I'll tell the truth. I killed Bonnie Parker. Because that voice, that woman possessed me. She used my hands to strangle Bonnie Parker. And she'll strangle you! You heard the voice, you'll soon be like me. Your hands will no longer be yours. She will control you with her voice. You'll sacrifice the life of another to... This is... Okay, this is starting to get really stupid. I tried to resist her, so she will use you to do me in. Make no mistake. Why did it keep highlighting woman and hands? The suspect? I thought you were... The landlord. We were in the same elevator a moment ago. Hold on, why am I here? You must be tired. You who you who found him... You who found him and recorded his confession about killing Bonnie Parker. Where is he? Is he still alive? Certainly. We are police, not gangsters. Don't worry, we'll ensure justice is served. I see. Oh, here's your payment. This much? That's way more than I usually get. I asked my superiors to give you more. After all, you've done us a big favor. The way you spend funds makes me wonder if you can be a capable police chief. <laughs> Can't be cheap with my friends, right? Oh, sorry. Gotta, go, gotta answer the phone. Wow. A thousand credits. That's actually a lot. Um, so yeah, apparently my apartment complex is cursed. Lovely place to live, right? And of course, all of the, um, all of the, uh, all of the, the altar is back in one piece once again. Praise the Omnissiah, am I right? Well, that was fun. A good time ahead by all, if I do see so myself. Let's go ahead and upgrade our skills, or should I say talents, so we will survive better next time. Okay, we're going to purchase Empty Slash.
Caduceus pistol load time. Amplification counter. Don't really need this, so we'll save the money there. Let's go ahead and save at least. So as you can see here, we can no longer choose the number of the floor we go to. Now it's just up or down. Glad that's over. I just saw OBS freeze for a moment there. That was kind of spooky. Something about air forces? Alright, big man. Hi. What can you sell me? Do I buy items? No. Sell items? No. Do I purchase a new gun? Eh. Allows a gun to three round burst fire. And also increases a chip socket. I don't think we need any of that right now. Give me, let me check out my weapons here really quick. Empty chip sockets. But we can add this weapon module here. Hmm. <laughs> Don't really need to buy a new pistol or anything like that. Let's skedaddle. Welcome back to Scop City. More like Scuff City, am I right? Hi. Don't need any of this junk, so we're gonna be selling it all. For a sweet 37 credits. I was selling these things before, but then I found out that you're actually supposed to tear these things apart for like parts or whatever? Or something? At least I think you're supposed to. But if that's the case, then why do they have different rarities? Like, he said that there's a thing here to recycle uh, tear apart bits, right? All right, cool. Hi. Apparently he sells chip materials. I am kind of gonna call bullshit on that. Hey. Because if that's the case, then where's the option to do so? Don't need to read that again, please. It was not very entertaining the first time and it will not be this time. We're going to the doctor for a nice checkup because apparently I'm dying from a robot disease of some kind. Yo, doc. <laughs> Hold on. Well, it's done. Finally complete the second phase. Anyway, what happened to you? Your friend Ayane contacted me in a panic and said you'd come for a checkup. It's the first time I've seen her so anxious. Yes, her disease is called entangleitis, which so far, as far as symptoms are concerned, as far as we've seen, 
it mainly makes the uh, person that's suffering from it um, just kind of freeze in place. Nah, I don't fucking know. It's not a big deal. It's just my entangleitis is getting more frequent, so I wanted to get a, come get a checkup. Apparently, her combat suit might be damaged. Take a lie, uh, lie down for me on the bed. Entering a fancy Modanxi MRI machine. Or is this a CT scan? In reality, it can't be either of those because in reality, if you had any metal parts and you went inside one of those, they would be ripped straight out of your body and into the MRI. <laughs> is taken care of by my perfect Grom system. What have you learned? We're missing some environmental data. That would have been good to know beforehand, you know. I only found that out by accident, and that was when I was literally unable to see in front of me. With more accurate environment data plus info on your body, I can now better analyze the cause of your illness. Okay. You say this is for analyzing my illness, but why do I feel like you're adding another function for combat? Hmm. I wonder why. It kind of is my concern, buddy. You're working on my body. A new weapon, huh? Gee, I wonder what the new weapon's gonna be. And don't mess with my research, please. I'm fine. It's Ryan I'm worried about. Don't worry, darling. I'll get results from the intel network soon. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pick up the weapon Alan ordered first. Ping me if you hear anything. So, Ryan is your dumbass younger brother who has gone on a journey to get a cure to your mysterious entangleitis virus. He seems to have a penchant for getting into trouble with the law and then also with the, with the mob. And it's our job to find him and make sure he does not do anything more stupid than he already has. You know, typical uh, shonen stuff. Honey, I would love to just bartend for the rest of this game. <laughs> the bartending simulator is quite obviously based off Valhalla and is actually quite fun. Hey, Zim. I am not. So, I'm not dealing that. <laughs> Just stop talking, please, sir. Give me, give me the whatever the weapon is. A heavy, a uh, high explosive, super hard material chip. Okay, what is this? Um, looks like a hard drive. What do you mean you can't do that right now? Alright then, where do I do this, if that's the case? Hey. I don't know where I'm going to find a workshop at this time of day, localized entirely within this video game. Okay, okay, I got it. Noctis City. 
Do we have an exact location? Hmm. Here's me, but you can head out first. All right, so I need to head to the workshop first. Get to learn how to work, do the workshopping mechanics, I suppose. Am I going to fly? Am I flying car? If I could just get to said car without being run over. Here we go. Side quest progression is at 45%. Not that there's many side quests to play with anyway. I say though, I never tire of watching this loading screen. But God, is it perpetually raining in uh, not Night City? Your proposal was rejected. <laughs> G and C. I trust you aren't here to mock me. That'd be a waste of time. Why did you submit it? Just doing what I can for the consortium. Part of my job, isn't it? You know about the Gatekeeper Project's volatility. It's test subjects, they... Have you forgotten how dangerous the portal tests were? That's cool. What are you so worried about, G? I just want those higher-ups to hurry up and act. Wasn't the consortium founded to shut down Lyman? Yet for so long, they haven't made any progress. Why? Are they all on vacation? <sighs> Things are not always what they seem. Stop whatever you're planning. I know you're hiding something from us. If the Council finds out, there will be consequences. Thank you for your kind reminder. Though I suggest you mind your own business, G. Have I mentioned that this voice acting is superb? Because it really is. Uh, sure, but before that, I want to go back to my house. Please, K, thanks. My house is here, right? This is where my house is. Tonshin's Broker's Home. You can buy clothing in this game? Side mission. Parking space. The game will now allow me to proceed further into the red light district. The Korean red light district, apparently. That's cool. Purchase some toys. Hey look guys, a VTuber. Hmm. This would make a great desktop background. One of those uh, live backgrounds that run through wallpaper engine or something. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh snap.
Bro, you couldn't tell it was a cop just from the way he's dressed? Damn. Yeah. Joss Van Corn, corn juice. Corn juice, anybody want some special corn juice that makes you powerful and strong? It appears that the corn is alive. Gentlemen, behold! More corn! <laughs> Oh, what a lovely lady. You must be look lacking endorphins, judging by your stern yet determined demeanor. Why don't you try a bottle of corn juice? It's not cheap, but it's super effective. Why, dear customer, you look hesitant. I'd like to know what's in it exactly first. Don't underestimate me. I'm renowned corn king in my hometown. I only use the finest ingredients, and my text is highlighted to show the how... Serious I am. That's not what I meant. I come from a long line of famous business corns. If <laughs> my papa <laughs> actually set fire to the house and turned most of us in rather foul smelling popcorn, we'd still be richer. What the fuck am I reading? <laughs> I, uh, I, the, okay, I don't know where to start. Love the lady, if you think the price is what's stopping you from enjoying such fine juice, I'd like to invite you to join Noctis. City's most exciting contest, the Mortal Corn Tournament. Whoever wins first place will get my latest and hottest premium corn juice. Don't miss your chance. I hope you'll come. Mortal Corn Tournament is bound to make me famous. I shall open my own store in the city. Oh dear lady, tell me you'll participate in the tournament. Yeah, sure, why not? Premium corn juice. What the f- Whoa! It appears that we are in fact... Uh... Fighting? What the f- Um... Okay... It appears... We are in fact fighting. So this is a thing. Finally! Ow. Uh, let's see now. Did I win? I did win. For some reason. Fight. Oh, I am facing the wrong direction entirely. Did I lose? You don't regain health? Hi. Alright, no, 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 no. We are going to keep fight playing this corn juice minigame until we win the premium corn juice. I am that invested right now. I forgot, is there a dodge? There is a uh, dodge rule in this game, isn't there? I have totally forgotten how to use the dodge function. Which, a fact which unfortunately will come back to haunt me until I figure it out. So let's go ahead and check really quick. Bad news, I still do not remember how to use the dodge rule. Even though I know there is a dodge function in this game because that's one of the first things they actually teach you to use. Is it H? J? It's L. L is the dodge button. Alright, you just stand there. I'm just uh, healing myself. Nothing to worry about. He has a bat that can deflect bullets. What a chad. Ow.
Come on, big boy. That wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, what the shit? This guy actually has like moves and stuff. Oh, this guy's actually like trying. I too have moves. It's called Hit You From Out of Your Range with the big ass uh, Buster Sword. Ow. You somehow were able to do that even though I was in midair. Ow, 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 ow. He's dead. The best premium corn juice will soon appear. Yeah. We corn are intrinsically non-violent. As the first customer of my new business, I now offer you a free bottle of my latest corn juice. I go sell somewhere else. Until next time. That was a very strange conversation and Hi. associated minigame. But in the meanwhile, we can purchase delicious corn juice, which as you can see here, restores health. Do I dare purchase the corn? I thought he was supposed to give me some premium corn juice for winning. Did he? He did. There's a there's actually a war biohazard warning on it as well. I have no interest in purchasing your corn and juice, man. Alright, so what am I supposed to do with this? Yeah. Hey, I've seen you before. <laughs> Chips that make your hair turn green and give you the same swag I carry around me. Gangster, yet classy. Yep, regretting big time. Mm. I don't want to know anything right now, actually. For a moment there, I thought these were Game Boy cartridges. Let's see what clothing we can purchase here. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's dumb. I can't get a dress without an appointment, so... I can't buy anything here? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Oh, finally! A place to change the outfit that is not my own house. Yes. I have been waiting for this moment. This is the saving grace of the game, the ability to change your- to play the game entirely dressed as a maid? Where's the maid outfit? Where'd it go? Come on. They spelled athlete wrong under here. I guess it's not available here either? I it's only in the bartending simulator? What does Chad want me to play as the whole the rest for the rest of today's session? Your choices are Normie, a combat suit, a schoolgirl outfit, a Chinese ki pao, or a chong sam, or a office lady attire, a punk attire, alien wear attire, whatever the hell this is, or a uh, 
Athlete. Sporty one. All right. Sporty one it is. All right then, where are we going next? Hey, pachinko machines. I don't know why I'm talking to you either, my guy. Hey, this music's hopping. Dismantle tutorial. Alright, that seems pretty straightforward. So am I supposed to dismantle the HE super hard ship? I guess. Why is everything dark? Shit, man. Craft items, okay. A light sword module, which increases piercing but reduces critical. Wind blades, huh? Or is that only great or Oh, these are different light swords you could purchase. That's kind of cool. Let's see what we got here. This creates a deflector shield, apparently. Alright, so we remove the chips. What are the benefits now of changing to these other weapons? Doesn't look like it's much, because this weapon actually gives you a critical strike. You equip this, all the only benefit is it loses attack damage. Just dumb. This one at the very least. Hmm. And actually, this doesn't have as many sockets available. Yeah, I'd much rather have critical strike than a piercing, to be honest. And now I have 12% critical strike, which is kind of nice. So I can dismantle my items here, including this garbage. Can I just dismantle all? Thank you. Combine items to make those things, or I can craft weapons. Naturally, I cannot craft any of these weapons. They are fairly expensive, materials wise. I'll 
I'll send you a location in your ground system. Riveting stuff. What's over here? Interesting. Looks like Neon Genesis a little bit. Weapons workshop, clothing store, chip store, parking lot, doctor and maze, ROM shop, and a pharmacy. Let's go visit the pharmacy. What is with this map? Are those rocks? There's a giant X in the ground. Looks like a huge natural disaster. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting locations here that we will probably be visiting sometime in the far future. Or however long it takes to play this game, really. Doesn't this guy already have augmentations? Look at his face. Girl, you came to the right place. Scan her chip, dude. I'll be damned. It's an R30 assault model. Yes, of course. This is the girl's frontline universe, isn't it? That's clearly a thought. Check this out. Okay, that's actually really cool. Hatsini Muku has changed in the years since. Okay, Chan. That's cool. Another underground fellow? <laughs> Five player beef burger with caviar. Man, this guy's been pricing upwards, hasn't he? Motong Burger Shop, the most famous one in Skop. So apparently I need to go stop by the burger shop back in Skop to give feed this gentleman that lives in an underground. He was in Skop earlier too, so how did he get over here from the sewer system? There are some things that perhaps the world was not meant to know. Anderson. Looks like we can't go. We are not allowed to go much further in this area. Let's go ahead and invade the is there any other place we need to visit here before we continue? Let's check out the ROM shop first. Actually, the game's not going to even let me get to the ROM shop, is it? Yeah, the game's not going to let me even go there first. Go to yet. So I guess our next bet is... Something good might happen over here at the event. I was just at the event, though. Maybe we should try talking to everyone first and see what happens. I doubt it, though. Oh, the manhole was the event. Okay. What's in here? Ooh. More junk to collect.
What's the hidden truth between high and freeway 42? What I see is simply hell. The first thing journalist Senna wrote about the scene in front of him. Living in Scott for years, he always has his eyes on the lives and appeals of the underclass. As luck would have it, he found freeway 42. Having heard about local hobos and conceivably arduous life, he set off to conduct interviews. The findings were astonishing. All collected documents and written records indicated that Free 42 was a fairly prosperous town before the Mechanica virus ravaged it. What caused its drastic deterioration? The plot thickens, chat. I continue to insist on gathering garbage to sell at retail later. Let's go into this here nightclub. Mm. Can we bypass the lion ham somehow? I guess if there's a way, we'll need to figure it out later. What else we got over here? A whole lot of nothing, unfortunately. An idol. What's going on over here? Protesters. Oh, worshippers of the void. It's about time we ran into some cultists in here. In one day, we too will become the void! The void of what? And that's not spooky at all. Embrace the voice, embrace and laugh. I also agree that I disagree. I also agree to disagree. Push the boundaries of mechanization. Anderson made another breakthrough. Pathological mecha 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 Mechanization is no longer a threat to our lives thanks to the drugs and vaccines against the Mechanica virus. But the craze for mechanic for mechanization is making a comeback. Elude in particular has captured the public imagination with its brand new technologies. Oh really? Capture my imagination. Ah, the pharmacy. Oh she's cute. Bring the dead back, indeed. Alright, let's continue the game. In here. Oh, this is not spooky at all, right? Less than 150 centimeters in height and more than 108 kilograms in grip strength. Be as invisible as possible. The best case scenario would be that I'm unaware of your presence, even with you standing right in front of me. Have an awful lot of time and patience. Have a strong as hell grasp of robot structures and their differences. Salary, 200 credits per day. Sounds like a steal, right, Pastel? Sneak in. We're all Deus Ex up in here. Oh, this is cool. It actually went first person for a moment. I guess there's a bunch of, like, sentry cameras and shit over here. UFO invader.
So wait, can I actually play UFO Invader? That'd be cool. Time to play the lockpicking minigame. Fairly easy though. You go ahead and do that, kid. Super Hacker Bros. Do hackers play real hacking games? That's a very good question. Nocturnal Maze. I'm waiting for you at the usual spot. Now that we have... Let's steal some clothes. Advanced crypto key. Actual, a game that actually requires some thought. Or, I mean, a puzzle that actually requires some thought. That's new. So these move that. All right. So these move that way. So these move that, and these move that, so I are two tooths. Hmm. I almost got it. This moves them both at the same time. This moves just those two. This moves all of them at once. Hey, Rizu. Oh, well, I managed to... I'm not sure if you were around when it happened, but um, I managed to finish that quest I was doing that I was stuck on, and some creepy elder shit happened, and I got teleported back to the start of the map. Now I'm on visiting a different nightclub town, and I'm doing inv I'm investigating a hacker's uh, room, and I'm trying to crack into his computer at the moment, doing a very basic minigame. A, uh, doing this game's uh, lockpicking minigame. Which, unfortunately, I'm notoriously bad at, but getting a hang of it.
I'll figure this out eventually. Stand now, okay. Give me a second. I think I found a solution. I just need to remember how I got to that solution somehow. Right there. No, shit. I just did it. I literally just... Duh. There, see? It's not too bad when you get used to the pattern. I say, even though it took me a while. Muse and I have already set a location for you. You didn't meet Muse. Were you worried I wouldn't be there? Okay, then. Have to look up what this binary code says later. Hey, Pastel, how are you today? I don't know when you tr when you uh, disappeared, but we are currently hacking into a, ha a so-called hacker's room. They have rather weak security, though. The fuck happened here? We have, cur we have acquired a cyber neko. We must collect, continue to collect these cyber neckos as we progress through the game. Riveting stuff, though. Let us continue our journey. Welcome back, welcome back. I wonder what else we could find around here. People to talk to? Interesting character designs. Big dude's not gonna... Get lost. This must be the place. I've gotta find a way in. I already found a way in earlier. What is with that weird echoing? I swear to God. Also, I found a place where I could actually change my clothes, and Perico had suggested that I wear the athletic uniform, which is why I'm dressed like this right now. Fortunately, we do have to change our clothing out once more because there is a certain dress code that you need to wear. Hi. 
Hello. Alpha projection. Need to look stylish, but what do we wear to a nightclub? Obviously. Also, you guys missed this whole conversation we had with Corn Man. Um, he is a sentient corn, and he may or may not be a man as well. But as you can see, he has leaves for hands. I also now have a bottle of his famous corn juice. The jury is still out on what I'm supposed to use this corn juice for. But it's premium. You can actually purchase corn juice from him as well. Hi. This game challenges me in new ways. Indeed, the dress. There's supposed to be a dress code here, so I kind of figured, you know. But I've uh, never been to a club. I can lend you a hand. Leave it to moi. There's a surprise waiting. Go to this shop. What shop? What fresh hell is this? We have to get changed. It's imperative that we look our best. There's no way I'm wearing a skirt, chat. No, totally, totally not. Darling, just go with the flow. You can't run or hide. Oh yeah. 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 Oh my god. No need. I <laughs> This is sexual assault. I swear to god, this game is more cutscene than it is game sometimes. Or a lot of times. Mate? Mate, the developers should have just made an anime instead, using this style. Hey, she looks cute. I'd never wear something like this, were it not for Ryan. What? Oh, never mind. Let's go inside. Ayane, I'm pretty sure that you are gay as fuck. But... Just get on with it. Club star. I got an achievement just for this. Just for this section. Alright, let's do it. Boob power. Damn. That is a vampire. Hey, I remember this dude. What are you doing here? <laughs> A collector of junk.
I gotta wonder though, I wonder how many of the characters appearing in this club are actually backers of the game. You can't afford a booth charges her anyway I can sneak out. Now that's a mood. And then she she was like, no, no, no. I know, right? You see this? I got a bike. No way. Hey, baby. Do you like my bike? This guy is totally not the lead hacker known as Lin, is it? Let's go explore a little bit more before we go over there. As someone who used to go to clubs, I can confirm that this is totally what a club scene looks like, chat. Yeah, totally. Totally. Hey, I recognize this person. Isn't this a cop? Pretty sure that's a cop that we met earlier. Oh. Use in. So she says she has found God. I wouldn't put it past here because earlier we had a very interesting experience. Let's talk to these folks. So this guy does not look the least bit say so. I cannot even talk to these people. They're on the other side of this table. Narratively speaking, I'm fairly sure that the person we're looking for is, in fact, this guy over here. You know, he's actually got a good point. There is nothing in this game so far that indicates why it is that the main character, Anne, can fight as well as she does. Oh hey, it's a pig cut. It's uh, one of the pig gangsters. This guy's fairly easy to fight though. There it is. Go ahead and get this over with then. Might as well keep the dress on in the meantime. And according to him, the big gangster should be around here somewhere. Where'd your... <laughs> huh. She's probably not going to, my dude. Alright, so where is this pig gangster that I have to kill? He's in here, here isn't we he? Are. Let's look around first.
Nanagar 60k grenades, 5 Erotica Fantasy Fantasia ROMs, Laser Furs, some pistol ammu ammunition, a lot of high explosives all over this place, chat. I don't think the game actually gives you the... Oh, a Cyber Neko. I've collected yet another Cyber Neko. Secret entrance spotted. Just like the docks. Huh? Why? No, no one should know about this place. Just you can. Hey, oh, I remember this guy. He attacked me earlier and just fell off, like, threw himself off the top of the building. I guess he survived in the end, huh? I can't, uh... Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, that was my bad. That was totally my bad. Let's heal, let's heal. And I'll just stay out of your attack range and uh, keep hitting you with this. As I said. Oh, we're gonna do that. I don't think we need to see anything, my good sir. Is he dead this time? Probably not. Oh my God, who is that? Why are you here? What are you up to? Come, look at this. Come, look at this. It responds to your being. You can use it to travel to places you visited. Oh, rather convenient, right? A teleporter? Why does this feel familiar? Wait, this is... Well, that's not spooky at all. Let's uh, explore a little bit more before we enter the spooky thing more. Vera robot. Swineard. I hate my job, 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 I hate my job. But nobody can know if they find out. I love my job, I love my job, I love my job, I love my job, I love my job. Okay, better. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Radioactivity and baked beans. Geronimo! Well, it's a save. Upgrade talents. What are we upgrading next? I decided we don't really need firearms upgrades. We can save money to get more in there. Expansion pack increases backpack size. Don't need that. Increases attack power. Max HP. Base defense. Let's uh, get some attack power and some defense going on here. Where are we teleporting, chap? All right. So where are we tell? How do we? How do I? In how do I? Let's get out of here. Hey, so I also want to tell. I forgot to tell you. I start playing TF2 again officially. And it's just as fun as I remember, honestly. I don't know why I quit. I was informed that apparently casual matchmaking is not the end-all be-all. They still have a server browser. But I did casual matchmaking anyway because hey, I was bored. Could you check someone out for me? Sure. Who? The woman just now. She. Huh? Woman? I didn't see anybody. Strange. How could she have missed her? Never Cal mind. We should go back to Lynn. 
Yeah, let's go back to Lynn now. Totally, why not? Not like I got anything better to do, right? Do, do, do. Back inside, chat. Ah, shit. Oh, Lynn's still here. Cool. Three eight forty two. Kind of a strange name for a city yet, I think. Don't leave before I'm fully prepared, huh? As if we have a choice. Good answer, honey, because we don't have a choice. We are at the mercy of the game. Now, in order to continue this questline, I would need to go into the car, but in the meanwhile, let's go fuck around. I wonder if I get to keep this outfit now. Chap, what should I wear for the rest of the session? Should I keep the Twilight Veil? Do I go back to the sportswear? Wear a combat suit? Schoolgirl outfit? The uh, Kipao, the Chinese dress? Office lady outfit? Punk? Alienware marketing? This one? Or freshman, badly spelled freshman athlete? Honestly, I'm prepared to go through the rest of the game just wearing the uh, nightclub dress. It's really cute. The game doesn't take away my... Okay, so I get to keep the nightwear dress. Okay. Cool. It's time for the eventual magical adventures of Maho Shoju. Um... And a mutation in them. Where are we going this time? Side quests is... We can go there to pre 42. We're actually going to go back to Margarita really quick. Uh-oh. Alright, alright. We'll have some fun next time. My he has a piece. southern accent. Next time, no funny stuff. Got it. You were just supposed to mention N540. That's it. Yeah, this is totally not a trick, right? We, however, have returned home for a time being. I really wanted to play the bartending. <gasps> oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. It is. I thought it was bad enough that they actually wrote Valhalla on the top there, but no, they actually have Jill from Valhalla here. <laughs> Jill Stingray.
Valhalla is one of those games that just, for some reason, even years after it was first released, keeps popping up in media everywhere. Rightfully so, I should say. Anne, you need to wear your bartender outfit. Okay, okay, jeez. I'll wear the bartender outfit. Is there a Jill Stingray outfit? Wait, where is the bartender outfit? Or is it not? <laughs> That's actually kind of cool. But where is the bartender outfit? Guess I got the save files here. Oh, I actually have new mail. That's interesting. Okay. Meow, meow, meow. Today's artificial sunlight is still brand warm, so I hope you're feeling as happy as I am. If you are in a cloudy mood, come to the plaza for my concert. Mion will sweep away all the dark clouds. How are you doing? I ran into some trouble here. I won't be able to make it cut big guy back to see you for a while. If there's anything you need, feel free to get in touch. We can actually win a car? Send a postcard? Huh, interesting. Hi. Okay, let's do some bartending then. Tangleitis. Your sis is lewd. Alright, let's help. I'm sad we can't take the bartender outfit with us. Let's do it. Score 700 points to get that one. All right, so. Perfect. Uh, to do. Ah, fuck. Okay, J to do. Oh, I screwed that one up. Oh, no. So, L, K, L. That wasn't that bad. What's this one? Ah! Uh, oh. My reaction time is fucking terrible. How am I supposed to be a pro FPS gamer again if I can't even click on heads like this? Ah! That's not gonna be enough, I bet. No worries. Try again, Anne. Five fifty. We must try it again. Toot toot toot. Perfect. 
Red, green, blue. Perfect. Red, green, green. Perfect. Green, green, green. No, fuck. That was supposed to be an easy one, too. Red, red, blue. Perfect. Red, green, blue. Perfect. Blue, blue, blue. Why do I always fuck up the easy ones? Blue, green, blue. If I get the good, the hard ones, I get fine. Green, green, green. Don't fuck up this one. Come on. How'd I do this time? Only you mix them like that, Anne. Yes. Awesome. Got a bronze medal. We still got half an hour of stream. I think I just want to play this minigame for the rest of it. <laughs> SS. Or at least I want to see if I can beat all the bartending minigames. See what gets unlocked. Let's help out and get us some monies. I like how even the music matches the Valhalla theme. Veteran. Oh, this is just cruel and unusual. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. I don't I don't think I have the reaction time for this to be honest. Blue green grip. Yeah, I don't have the reaction time for that. But we will do our best anyway. Oh, that was so close to uh, failure. Come on. Ah. That wasn't that so bad. Blue, blue, green. What's this one? Red, red, blue. Nah, fuck. Game is hard. I managed to get perfect to the last one. No worries. Try again, Anne. Six hundred only. Rip. At least I'm making money. Not that I can use that money for anything. I'll show you bartending skill. How's that sound? Alright, we'll play one more game and then we'll continue to plot. How's that sound? Or at least we'll do some of the... Uh, we're going to do some of the side quests. Score 700 in the previous difficulty to unlock. Oh, that's not that bad. So that's blue, blue, blue. Perfect. Red, green, blue. Perfect. Green, green, green. Good. Blue, green, blue. Fuck. Red, red, blue. Fuck. I'm already feel this one. I could feel it. Really? That should have been perfect. Oh my god. I'm doing worse than before. Much worse than before. Shit, man. Not even an A, I bet. Oh, it is an A. Okay. Let's retry. Green, green, green. Perfect. Red, green, blue. Okay. Red, green, green. That should have been a perfect also. 
Blue, green, blue. Perfect. Red, red, blue. Red, green, blue. Red, green, green. Shit, man. Red, red, red. Blue. Uh, red, red, blue. What? Why did it suddenly go fast all of a sudden? This gate. Ah! How do we do? No worries. Try again, Anne. We can do better. Green, green, green. Ah. Shot my load way too fast. Red, green, green. Blue, blue, blue. Red, red, blue. Red, green, blue. Red, green, green. Oh, that was close. Red, red, red. Red, red, blue. Oh man, how many did I get this time? No worries. Try again, Anne. Shit. I am getting worse, but I did make ten drinks this time. Way more than last time. Okay, one more try. One more try. Red, red, blue. Perfect. I wonder how much money I've made so far. Or if the game just resets it. I guess it doesn't reset though. Perfect. My god. If I just not screwed up the last one. Okay, one more time.
No! No worries. Try again, Anne. Just out of reach. Ah, my nerves are fried. Is what's part of the problem. Making easy mistakes. Ow! Ow! How you? How am I supposed to bartend with an anvil stuck in my? God damn it, Luke! Ah. Must beat veteran mode. I blame this one, this loss on you. was it this time no worries try again and just out of reach this is almost as deadly as a gotcha game it's just a matter of like always wanting to try one more time I will defeat you while attending mini game just you wait Oh my god. close oh man how much was that no worries try again and shit oh always out of reach no that's the that's the easy mode come on might as well practice I guess How to do as a bartender in real life to be honest one thing's for sure there's a lot more conversation in bartending than just mixing drinks and saving lives and changing lives i should say not saving lives My hands are shaking, my hands are shaking, but I'm still going. Huh. Only you mix them like that, Anne. Damn right. SS. Once more from the veteran mode. Starting off with an easy one, huh?
Ah. Shit. Got uh, perfect just then. I doubt that's enough though. Only you mix them like that, Anne. Wow, fuck, yes. I did it. <laughs> How many times did I try this? That's a hell of a looking dildo, I'll say that much. Fifteen minutes and left. You need to wear your bartender outfit. Still can't believe I met, got to meet Jill from Valhalla in this game. That's kind of cool. Go do that, sir. You go do that. And you need to wear your bartender outfit. All right. With that out of the way, let's go see what can be seen here. Nothing. All right, let's head back to Scop, do a couple side quests, and we'll call it a night. How's that sound? Persistence sure paid off in that case, though. Head back home, as it were. Now that's a smooth landing. All right then. Oh shit, we have so much money now. 4,205. I could buy everything in this game if I really wanted to. It's kind of messed up, actually. Like this one, for example. Just buy all the things. Big spender. Am I not supposed to be able to buy that already? Or what? So as much as I like the purple lightsaber... Unfortunately, it's already been replaced by this one. But first, let's go ahead and remove the uh, chips here. You know, it doesn't look nearly as cool as the Harden. The Harden, however, had a 5% critical rating, which is insane, but I need more damage potential, honestly. And also, this increases its critical percentage chance by 7%, so I can't really ignore it, badly enough. Do I even have any money left? I have 705. I could theoretically... Oh, hey, Seal! How are you today? Long time no see. Uh, we're actually clearing up the end of the game, or, or we're kind of uh, getting ready to end for today, but thank you for showing up anyway. You just missed the uh, Valhalla reference, the major Valhalla, ref Valhalla reference in this game, too. I could go over there really quick. Life's gotten better? Oh. In that case, I'm glad that things have gotten better for you. 
we still stream at the same times. I even got a fancy new ske looking schedule that I posted on Twitter. So I look forward, so if you ever want to hang out again, um, you know where to find me. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to be doing again? <laughs> Why would I want to escape your friendship? I'm told there's supposed to be a burger joint around here. Am I supposed to talk to him Hi. about something? Sure, I can go kill people. Alright, so we get to kill some friends for him. But first, there are some other things we need to explore around these parts. There's supposed to be a burger joint around here. But supposedly it's closed all the time. Hey. All right. That's a spooky looking character over there. Ah! Jesus Christ! Good thing that guy can stop on a dime. You look everything like a- oh, this is the burger joint! There's a burger joint here, but how am I supposed to purchase the hamburger that the guy was looking for? There's no service bot, just like he said. Hey Ace, how are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Unfortunately, we're going to be ending in a few minutes, but I'm still I decided to try and get some uh, side quests done in the meanwhile. Um, you missed the part where I actually got to meet Jill Stingray at my bar. Like, the actual Jim, Jill Stingray. I'm doing okay. It's been kind of hot today, but otherwise it's been alright. Right now, I'm just trying to look for a burger restaurant in-game. Because Mr. Uh, lives in a sewer has somehow moved to a completely different city. Oh. Mm, okay. Indeed. Where is the burger bar? Is there a burger bar? Am I confused? I'm fairly sure the guy that lives in the under uh, lives in the sewers asked me to go to a burger joint. And it's not this one. He had a very specific order. Hi, hi. And it's not the cake store. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough. Let's look back over here really quick. I didn't do nothing. This is the one where I have to go find this person's brother. I am not reading through that dialogue a second time, though. Robots. 
for everyone. Jacks into their favorite movie ROM. Two suspicious looking characters. Stealing the power of hell. Tap snap over there. It's another burger place. But I can't go there because it's blocked off. Alright, so maybe I was mistaken. Shit, man. I was apparently mistaken. I don't think I can actually find the burger joint from here, which is weird because I could have sworn one of my side quests said, go back to Scop or some shit like that. I guess not. I guess we are on our way to Free 42 after all. In the meat, actually, no, let's go. Let's see, Margarita. Free let's go back to Noctis really quick. Something good might happen here, right? But I need to go to our burger place to pick up some hamburgers to give to the guy living in the sewer. So I need to head back here somehow. Here we are again. Let's see if we can figure this out this time. How to live in a cyber world. Stop listening to the heretical words of the government. The mechanical virus is a gift from God. Oh, mighty God has given us these mechanical bodies so that we won't become hurt. We won't need to eat food. There shall no longer be waste of resources, nor shall we need to damage the environment. The mechanical virus is a gift for the new world. Any medicine that claims to cure our bio skins and mechanical virus is but a scam and conspiracy of big pharma. <laughs> big pharma? A, a tool for the governments to better control and enslave us. It's time to forsake your flesh and embrace your mechanical body. A true life should never be constrained by our weak, mortal bodies. I'm an artificial intelligence and I approve this message. Oh! I'm really fucking dumb. I didn't know you could enter here. Was up, was up. I'm not reading that shit. Too long, did not read. Welcome. Bro, we can buy porn. I'm kind of tempted to do so. Nah, I probably need that for this. Those are probably quest item shits. No, wait. Oh my god, really? You can pull. We gotta, we gotta do it. We, we've got to do it. I hope I don't get banned off Twitch. Or the wrong data technology on display, including scene restoration, contextual reproduction, and replication, all belong to the Tithonus group. Um. Wow, that was that was kind of a waste. I I don't know how to feel about. I spent 500 credits for this. So let's uh, let's see what this one does. Snow Lord Seven beyond the some beyond the board.
Yeah, it's even shorter than the other one. You know what I just realized? This is clearly like a copy of the brain dance simulation stuff from Cyberpunk 77. The only difference is, in Cyberpunk 2077, brain dance was cut content. In this game, you can actually buy the ROMs and play them, they're just exceedingly short. Also, I'm totally broke now. So I guess it's time to play more Bartender Simulator off stream to get more money that I can then use. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm sure money will just drop into our hands eventually at some point in the game, right? So I got 120 of these things. I should probably get another... Hmm. That looks like an interesting ability. I can use this one though. Straight up chill stingray lifestyle. That's right, working a bartender job to keeping up to keep him up my porn addiction. You know I just realized also, since I spent all my money buying ROMs, I no longer have any money to buy a burger to give this to the person living in the sewers. I don't even know where the burger joint is anyway. It's supposed to be around here somewhere. It's probably hidden or something. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. It's obvious now that the place I need to go to is probably locked behind this police wall, which will not open up until I progress the storyline so much, a little bit. However, it is getting fairly late, so we're going to go ahead and take, uh, go ahead and save the game, and take a break. And I don't think I could save the game in this on this city. I actually have to go back to. Yeah, I can't save the game here. I'll need to head back to Margarita to save the game. So we'll do that. Head back home. Mm -hmm. Well, stick around for the raid at least, depending on how many people we have chilling in chat. We actually had quite a turnout. This is the most people I've ever gotten to follow my stream that came from a Discord of all places. From the fighting game, from the VTuber Discord, no from the uh, fighting video game, uh, the fighting game community Discord, no less. So, for those of you that are still chilling in the background, thank you once again for the follows. It is greatly appreciated. If you'll stick around, I'm going to go ahead and give us a ra raid. An unsuspecting victim as soon as I uh, save my game here. Also, look, it's chill. Thank you for shilling the Discord again, Ace. Always appreciate it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hi, Jill.
You missed it too. I spent a good like 15 to 20 minutes just to playing the bartending minigame to grind money and to also beat the uh, second difficulty. Totally worth it though. Hmm, Dad's still here. Okay. I don't think, I honestly don't know if Nirvana will ever be released. Hopefully in our lifetimes, right? <laughs> when it's ready. Or when Ironic Lark comes back to the project, at least. Who else is streaming tonight? Oh, Mai just started streaming just now, actually. And Declaruno is streaming. Kai Digadig, Mika VT is playing Falcon 4.0. Lucky ZVT, Foxy Kawaii, Ichiban Recoil is doing some art tonight. Nova Morningstar is playing Minecraft. Dematerialize is also doing art. Hopefully 2077 without glitches and bugs. That would be nice. Val is playing Mario 8. Bonito Nekogata is playing Final Fantasy VI. ROZ is playing Shin Megami, Megami Tensei V. Risa is alive with a Tetsu crew right now, huh? Let me see here. Looks like they're also playing Persona 5 Royal. Interesting, interesting. And Kachiwa Hakase is playing Rimworld. Rika Mian is playing Just Chatting. Hmm. Ah, got too many choices. There's so many people I could possibly hit up for a raid. Yeah. Hmm. It looks like uh, Mai is actually playing Hunt Showdown with someone. This. I noticed, I noticed that there's a tendency that when people, when a VTubers do collabs, viewership seems to drop. And I'm not entirely sure why. Do people just not like watching collabs or something? It's a very common thing. Seal, thank you very much for uh, contributing to the sheer heart attack challenge. I'll tell you the same thing I told everyone else. When you guys uh, contribute to that, please think about what horror game you would like to force me to play. Because I think that is coming up soon. Since my only has one follower or view or one viewer right now, let's go ahead and give her some or give make her give her a visit. Hunt is a very entertaining game to watch people play and suck at, so it will be a fun time, I'm sure. Thank you for contributing, Ace. I wonder how close we are at this point. All right, lulls, wiggle. Feel free to use my wiggles or use any other email of your choice. We are doing a surprise lols raid. Target will be my today. <laughs> and let's get started. Ten viewers tonight? God damn! And here I was about to actually, I was actually considering um, dropping Anna Mutation from my lineup because I didn't think anyone still liked watching it. But you know what? Thank you once again to everyone for stopping by, for watching tonight. We do, we will be playing this again next Monday. Um, if you haven't dropped me a follow, I really appreciate every follow. Um, you know, just for cloud purposes and also uh enforcing the algorithm to be in more in my favor i will see y'all next time lulz out <laughs> lulz and bro x collab when who's bro x seal i i don't know who, i don't know who bro x is if they're a cool person wholesome woodcutter dude um, send me a link to his uh, social media and I'll check him out to see what he's like as a, as a content creator. Alright everyone, here we go!
everybody. It's good to see so so many special calls. I know we have a lot of these guys from the robot lines, so I'm happy to see so many people who have started to get uh, into the intro pretty soon. Uh, uh, but I just love these guys. I had to move my alert because my data alert came in, but it was under you. Oh, I see. Um, yeah, we're playing Hunt. Um, how, how is our uh, new game wish list? Do you have any wish lists? I've been, I've been seeing it. It's on my wish list on Steam. It's been on there for the longest time, so I'm really excited. Oh, uh, this is my key. Whoa. Okay. Uh, yes. Barely. Yeah. It's point and click, and it's like pixel aesthetics, if I recall proper. Oh. I just remember. I, I just saw it. Either put on my playlist or, or I'm thinking of another game. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've seen it a bunch. It's my favorite part of this game, right? Only the game. Wait, Scott, is there, is there, is there not, if I recall proper, isn't there like a Valhalla cameo? Like Valhalla is in that game. Yeah, I literally, I I don't do anything. I'm. I, it's more than a cameo. Oh, good, good. I have such. More than a cameo. I have such awful uh, Valhalla brain rot. It's. Yo, my lag is awful. On whatever server I normally am on. Um, Granted, I don't uh, know if I've ever streamed this before, so there's that. Oh, wait, hold on, you're talking twice? Talking twice? Yeah, your voice in the game is actually weird. Oh, okay, that's amazing. Let me... Oh, and it did. Okay. It must have been. If I, if I die, don't roast me. Just don't, don't cry. Um, it's not worth it. That's totally fine, but I'm just saying. 